my beliefs. All right, I'm gonna hit the content warning for this. We're going to the cop, cop stories. These are gonna piss you off. You may have heard about this one. Bixar County DA finally drops the charges against a teen who was shot by a now former SAPD officer. District Attorney Joe Gonzalez said he was exercising compassionate discretion because the teen is in critical condition in the hospital. Not because he didn't do anything wrong, you know? I guess they're not admitting fault on that one. Let's watch the local news hit there on it. There are new developments tonight in the case involving a teen who was shot by a San Antonio police officer at a local McDonald's. The Bear County District Attorney dropping charges against the teen who is still in the hospital. Alan Kozlu walks us through the case, and we do want to warn you, the video you're about to see is disturbing. Get out of the car. This interaction last Sunday with San Antonio police officer James Brennan left 17-year-old Eric Cantu with four bullet wounds and two criminal charges, I want charges from SAPD. When the case was filed? No, they charged the kid. They charged the, This kid did nothing wrong. He was just eating burgers in a parking lot. Did absolutely fuck all wrong. This interaction last Sunday with San Antonio police officer James Brennan left 17-year-old Eric Cantu with four bullet wounds and two criminal charges from SAPD. When the case was filed, the teenager was originally charged with uh, uh, evading with the vehicle and, and aggravated assault. Today, Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez announced he is rejecting those charges for now, but can pursue them later, depending on the- Oh, absolutely. They Gonzalez will pay through the ass. The decision in part, so Cantu's family can be by his side. There's no risk of him escaping. It's not like he can get up and run away. As for- Yeah, they had him shackled. Has ...been fired after seven months on the force. Civil rights investigators are also looking at the incident. And again, I don't want to speculate. We know a deadly weapon was used. That's uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, there are certain enhancements by the statute given uh, the officer's stature. Gonzalez says that any charges... Charge that cop. Not this only happened a few days ago, Chainsaw. We charge an officer with a crime. It, it is a very serious matter and we take it very seriously. But we do that because I have made a commitment to this community that there is no one that is above the law and we will hold everyone accountable. From downtown, Alan Koslu, Ken's Five. Yeah, I, uh, I'm on Sunday through Thursday. I think this might have happened Thursday night or Wednesday night. And then I just didn't want to cover it last night because we had a uh, Iranian-American activist on to tell us about what was going on in Iran. So I just didn't feel like doing uh, cop stories after that. But I got another one for you. I'm going to hit the content warning again.